Hey, Brian. Hey, Ralph. How's everything today? All right. It's a bit cold here, so I have my warm tea here. It's minus 7 degrees outside, but, you know, it's winter. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, we're expecting, like, a, a blizzard coming to the East Coast near New York. Um, yeah, that's what I heard that, yeah, because that's because one interview was canceled here today. Wow. Yeah. You know, it didn't arrive yet. It's supposed to come, uh, I think, uh, Friday night into Saturday. And, oh, I see. You know, it could be up to two feet. Who knows? You know? Oh, my God. But uh, it's the first snow of the year, really, so uh, I'm ready. You know? Yeah, I'm we, ready. Have a, we have the first snow here, too. <laughs> wow, wow. Rule breaker, January 29th, primal fear. Um, yes. I mean, I was going down the tracks. Uh, first, it's on Frontier Records, which is uh, one of my favorite labels. Yeah. And um, going down the tracks, I listened to it a couple times this morning. Um, two in particular songs that really blew me away, which, which my very favorite uh, you know, tune is uh, We Walk Without Fear. Um, Absolutely. That's Absolutely. an epic tune. You know? Yeah, you have the same taste like I am. I mean, this is, I would pick that one as my favorite too, which is pretty hard in the end to pick a favorite out of uh, your, your, your babies. Right. But, um, yeah, I agree with you. It's epic. Right. I, I don't think you're going to be playing that live, are you? No. <laughs> I think no, not so. this time. We have so many songs going on, and we pick uh, a new uh, set list in the next week's. Uh -huh. And we rehearse uh, five to six tracks from the new album, and we're gonna really surprise the fans with new songs this time. But not uh, we won't without fear, unfortunately. No, but it's too long for to play. Long yeah, that's again. what I figured. That's that's the reason why I said uh, I, don't, I don't think you'd be playing that. But yeah. the, the next tune that I really blew me away, uh, the sky is burning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I I love it. You know, it's really melodic. It has some great right. guitar work and. It, it just blew me away. I mean, there's many songs. I mean, the whole disc is amazing, but I mean, them two songs really stick out to me. Thank you, yes. You know. I, I, I absolutely agree, yeah. Right. Now, one of my favorite people in the band is Magnus Carlsen. Um, you know, you knew I'd bring him up, right? <laughs> so, uh, um, I'm just wondering how come you were not on his last solo album? Yeah, because you can't be there all the time. I mean, yeah, I was at the solo album, uh, one album before, Free Fall, uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. And you, can't be, you can't be there all the time, you know? Right, but that tune you did with him is it's like my favorite song on the album. Yeah, Hi, yeah it was amazing. He's a, he's a fantastic composer, absolutely. Right. And he seems like a really nice guy too. So uh, he is. He is. There's no doubt about that. A nice. Uh, it's a, he's a family guy. You know. That's the reason why we can't take. He will not go on tour with us because of the the kids and stuff. And we absolutely respect this. So um, yeah, it's an absolute wonderful person. Right. Now you recently uh, did a, a new video and stuff like that. Do you enjoy making the videos? Uh, you know, it's hard work. I mean, it, it looks like fun on, on uh, Angel's Mercy. We, we had fun, of course. Right. But um, it was also cold, and yeah, it was, uh, you know, it takes hours to do that. And in the end, we were happy when when it was done. And the result is it's just amazing. It's really good. And I saw it yesterday again. It's uh, really amazing. Right. Uh, is there any plans um, of the CD coming out on vinyl, too? Yes, it will come on vinyl. Cool. That's good. Yeah. A lot of collectors are like that. Yeah. You know. um, when you go out on tour, which will be coming to the United States in April, um, yes. is there any special thing on your tour rider that, that the band asks for, or you in particular, that you want backstage for yourself? Well, I mean, of course, every band has the rider, and right. we have our Jack Daniels, and we have our white wine and stuff, you know, so... <laughs> And yes, we, everybody, every band has this kind of uh, uh, rider going on with what in terms of food, right? And also in terms of technique, so it's quite normal, yeah. Wow. But nothing, nothing special like uh, something like uncommon stuff or something. <laughs> well, you're coming here with uh, Luca Torelli's uh, Rhapsody, and that that should that should be an amazing show. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. both of you guys, uh, one of the my favorites so uh yeah we're really looking forward i met the guys uh one and a half years ago when i sung on their album i did the choir tracks and um nice guys and uh really looking forward to tour one and a half months within the states cool 
Um, in, in the future, would you ever think of maybe you know a, a Gamma Ray Primal Fear tour? What? Well, never say never. I mean, the, the, in the past, it, it always came like they made an album, we were touring, and vice versa. So <laughs> and we never came together somehow. But why not? I mean, this can always happen. And I was. I have a good relation still to Kai, as you know. You saw my my video and my pictures from the Munich visit I did uh, two months ago, right? And it was just great, you know. So we're still good friends, and never say never. We're, it can happen if the if the schedule is just uh, parallel. Somehow we're always have alternating schedules. Wow, that'd be exciting! Really exciting. Um, yeah. Tell me, when you were a young kid and stuff like that, you remember any of the I guess first records or whatever? You listened to it that you played over and over again? It was Seven Bloody Seven from Black Sabbath. Um, that was my very first vinyl I bought. <laughs> wow. wow. And anyway, yeah, I mean, of course I listened to other tracks before in the radio, like Swede right. and stuff, and uh, when I was a young kid, ABBA and so forth, but in the end, uh, turned out to be more the rock and roll guy, and of course started with Scorpions and Black Sabbath, so... Uh, and heavy metal then got me with Accept and Sex and Judas Priest, of course. There's no doubt about that. So, cool. yeah. uh, how'd you find out you had a talent for singing? I, actually, I sung along with the radio and um, it sounded pretty okay. I thought, well, I might sing in tune. Who knows? Well, maybe I'm gonna sing later. I don't know. And then I start to play the guitar as well, and I did both them playing the guitar and singing, but it, it never really got together. So. In the end, I focused uh, on just singing in the end. Right. Uh, what recommendations w would uh, you give to a, a person trying to break into music? Always be yourself. Uh, don't somehow pretend to be somebody else. Stick to your roots. Stick to your ideology, uh, ideals. And uh, be as authentic as possible. I mean, yeah. Cool. Don't, don't try to be somebody else. Now, working with Frontier Records, um, was there any stipulations on, on anything on the album, or uh, no. did Serafino, um, you know, have any recommendations for you? No, not at all. They really trust us. They all leave the music part to our on our side, so they really trust us, and uh, they, as they already said, they're absolutely satisfied with the outcome of the album. So it's all good. <laughs> cool. Well, what do you do in your spare time? Good question. There's no spare time anymore. <laughs> I try to work out a little bit when I got the time, but you know, it's the last three or four weeks. It was not that easy because I'm really busy, and of course, I have my boy still in the house. Fifty percent I share with my ex-wife, um, and uh, when when he's here, I'm having soccer tournaments on table table soccer. Uh -huh. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. pretty amazing for us. It brings a lot of fun. So yeah, I spend my time with my boy. Wow, that's great. You know, you've got to spend family time all the time. Yeah. You, know? um, you know, when looking back when you were in Tyrant's play, Pace, um, I, I watched the video this morning. You know, when you see that, <laughs> when you see that back then. Don't tell, don't tell me. I know which video. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, yeah. When you, when you see that, can, can you believe that, you know, what kind of impact that you actually made on the music world? <laughs> <laughs> with, that coat, with that coat I had on, <laughs> I could hear you still. Your voice is still somehow, <laughs> yeah, somehow from laughing, right? No, but anyway, hey, it was the time, you know. It was the, the '80s, and uh, I can remember that time uh, bands were dressed like this. But to answer your question, you never think about you will do. You just live in the present somehow as a musician, you know. Of course, your plannings and stuff, uh, maybe half a year or one year ahead, but you never plan how you do, how things will be in ten years or whatever, right. wow. because uh, you swim somehow in your in your bubble. Cool. cool. You fly in your bubble yeah. and you do what you do, and you're happy that uh, people accept your your music and like your music, and um, and that's also why we or I never thought about hop on any trend or whatever I just I always did what I love to do and uh, I think I can I can also say that in the name of the band on behalf of the band that uh, everybody's doing the same thing living uh, making music and composing music which we are in love with uh, everything else would make no sense for us right well, was that a great time of music for you mm-hmm back then it was pretty okay for me uh, otherwise I wouldn't have done it right 
But if I, if I listen back, of course, uh, sound qualities and, and, and so forth. I didn't have a clue how to record it, something, so I always left that to other people. Now I know what I do, and you can hear it. <laughs> That's great. Um, what can people expect, uh, you know, when you come to the United States in April? You know, what's some of the songs that you might play? Yeah, as I said, we're gonna we're gonna um, bring in five to six tracks from the new album, and we will we will see how they work out in the rehearsing. You first have to re, uh, rehearse them, and then decide if they work live or not. And uh, but we are really having in mind to uh, fresh up our set list with new material and some alternative, oh, uh, some changing, um, some other tracks from old albums too, like uh, from the Seven Seals album and so forth. So people can really um, expect to see a different set list this time. Right. Who came up with that name, uh, Rule Breaker? Actually, we had you know, several names already from, from song titles we have. Right. But in the end, um, actually, there was we thought about to name it The End This Near, but uh, then Rule Breaker somehow was a little bit stronger for us in our mind. So it's also a democratical decision again. Well, congratulations on the new CD, January 29th, worldwide. Thank you, Brian. It's out already in Japan, right? It's out today in Japan, yes. Yeah, so people make sure you get it and uh, support uh, Primal Fear and uh, Ralph. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank uh, it's great talking to you again, and uh, I wish you the Same best. Here. Would you like Thank to say you anything? Much, Brian. Would you like to say anything to the fans out there? Yeah, hang out at our show and then wait until we come out to have a beer together. I really like the people. That's what I always like to do, to hang out a little bit and talk, to get a little bit of uh, small talks and stuff. I always like that. Congratulations, Ralph. Thank you, Brian. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.